So today on Tech and Finance, I'm here to talk about eSIM, the embedded SIM, the embedded SIM. So many people do not are not interested in the eSIM. They are not interested in the eSIM. And then some have, I don't know, is a myth, or they have some belief that the eSIM is bad, or they call it an evil SIM. <laughs> It's very like, no, well, what? you know, when there is a new thing in the system, the, the, there is always those people who are saying, it's going to destroy you. Yes, if you use it, you can't, without getting the understanding that the, the eSIM is going to make your life better. No, you know, there are the pros and cons of everything that you do. So, um, yeah, so there are the good side and the bad side about eSIM but then i think the good side outweighs the bad side the bad sides are mm, I'm, I'm not sure it's 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 very um too bad yes it's just a little bit bad so um so when we say eSIM basically eSIM is just what we call an embedded sim okay an embedded sim yeah you don't need to um think too much it's an embedded sim it says that you throw your physical sim away and then there is a profile installed on your phone only if your phone what uh, permits or is is designed to accept eSIMs, okay? So when the phone is designed to accept eSIMs, then you can um you can just get the install your SIM profile on it, the same that you already use, the physical SIM that you already use. They just give you the profile and you install it on your phone, and then that is it. You have your 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 sim to use on your phone is as simple as abc your network provider gives you the profile of your sim and it's installed on the phone and then you have access to your sim okay you have access to your sim and then you are using it as normal uh, as you use the physical sim and so you just need a profile that your network provider is going to validate and give to you to um, install in your phone and you you have the the freedom to install multiple SIMs. So somebody might, you see, years ago, people wanted to use um, dual SIM phones, triple SIM phones, you get it. Now you don't need the um, three slots of um, SIM spaces to use three SIMs, okay? With, with an eSIM phone, you can install as more as three profiles or four. Some, some, some allows you to install a um, maximum of four or five profiles that gives you four SIMs in a phone, okay? Four SIMs in a phone. And then some also give you a maximum of three to four, uh, or four profiles to be installed on your phone. So with this eSIM ability, you can now have about three SIMs in one phone. Um, pay way now, pay day. You don't want this. You want to go and buy three pool phones or you want to buy three phones. No, with eSIM, you can now install three profiles or four SIM profiles on that phone. And then you can use four SIMs at the go without the SIM cards, without any SIM slots, whatever. You are, you, you are just having um, four or three SIMs in one phone, which is good and also, Apart from just having the, the number of SIMs all embedded in your phone, also, you see, there are times that when somebody steals your phone, when somebody takes your phone, the first thing they do is that they just eject your SIM. And then you try calling, 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 calling. It's out of reach because the person took the SIM out and actually chewed it into a real SIM, you know, a call. The phone is gone. But then if you get an embedded SIM phone with your SIM embedded in the phone, the person will need to get the password of your phone in order to go to the settings, in order to go and delete the, the profile, the SIM profile on the phone before the person can lose, you um, can take your, 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 your um, network provider out of the phone. And so the person will need to get your password in order to go to settings, in order to delete the network profile, which is a long distance, a long process. Okay. And so, 
it gives you much time and much opportunity except the person is an IT guru who has um, the, the necessary tools to um, take that ESIM off but I'm not sure the person can do that at once so um, with the person getting the, the phone immediately the person steals the phone the person is not going to be able to take it out and so I have the ability of calling the phone, calling the phone, calling the phone for months okay and so that is the best option also and also it allows you to transfer you you don't when you buy a new phone you just transfer the profile from one phone to the other and then you can use it but then i think in ghana it's not it's not like that because anytime i want to transfer my eSIM profile i have to go to the office mtn telesel um etel tigo all of you are not doing as good, please. Anytime you want to transfer our eSIM profile, we need to come to the office. Please kindly work on that for us too. It will help us. So in other countries, you just need to transfer it or scan the QR code and then it's transferred to the next phone and then you deactivate the, the other SIM. It makes it very easy, okay, to change your, your SIM and put it on another phone. And then... um. It's good, also good for international roaming, international roaming, yeah. So if you want to, eSIM helps you with international roaming. If you want to do international roaming, I think with eSIM, you can have international roaming. And so these are the few things that I think you need to know about eSIM and is the best, um, best kind of SIM provider services right now I, I want people to go for uh, the sims no the physical sim no hey it's too much let's go in for the e-sim because um, yeah i think we are we are entering into the ai world the tech world and so understand the e-sim if your phone supports e-sim go get the e-sim if it if even it has the the uh, physical sim slot use the physical sim go for it an e-sim and get at, at least two sims um active on your phone okay so thank you for watching this video. I hope it has helped you to understand what the eSIM is and then the benefits of the eSIM. So I know you're going to get your eSIM right now from all the telecos in Ghana right now. So the MTN, the Airtel, Tigo, and then um, Telecel, they all have the eSIM available. So go get yours and see you on the next video. Bye.